it. Out in the middle of nowhere, Arkansas. Got tons of booths out here. We got a big red barn to go through. So much cool stuff already, I can see it. Heading in. I just got back from the junk ranch and doing some shopping and just kind of having a nice day outside um, yes thank you for coming back to see me this is my shopping addiction channel <laughs> just kidding um, but yes uh, I did stop by there was a Dollar Tree like where I went was about three towns away and there was a Dollar Tree down there on my way to the junk ranch so I thought well I'll just pull in here real quick just to see if they have anything different any different kinds of um, Halloween stuff so I found these cute little fingernails thought those would be fun to try uh, I found this little um, snow globe ball I've been waiting for mine to get these but they don't have any I've been wanting to make a Harry Potter remember all out of it uh, so um, I went ahead and picked that up I thought that was pretty cool just got one of those these are in my car from the other day when I went and picked up some more um, of those rings and then this is some of that spiderweb glitter printed tool um, a little roll of that and this sign oh my gosh this sign was so freaking cute look how big this is this is wood y'all um black hat society inquire inside join our black hat society isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw i mean for a dollar it's such a cute decoration i'm totally keeping that and using it every year for Halloween, but oh, it's so adorable. I love the, the font on the words and everything. None, none of the other um, Dollar Trees that I went to had these, and I'm like, oh, that is so freaking cute. So yeah, I did pick that up. So I was, that's all I got was those four things. So I did pretty good, I think. And so on to what I found at the Junk Ranch. Junk Ranch was a little bit, a little bit disappointing this year, but I did find a few cute things. Let's see. So first of all, I found this um, little jar of uh, doodads and things. Um, it's just a whole bunch of different kind of really old looking kind of junky things. And I mean, just some really cool little some really cool little thing. Let me point this down where you can actually see. Job Corps Reading Award and just old little old things. I'm not sure what that is. But I mean just some old bits and pieces and stuff and things. That's kind of like a um, stained glass a little bit. But um, I think that's a piece of a fork or something maybe I don't know it's kind of cute it'd be a cute little pendant um, but yeah there's just all kinds of little doodads and things oh look how cute there's a little roller skate um, it's a little charm it's a little roller skate it's super heavy I don't know what you would put that on maybe it's like a zipper pull or something for a skate bag or something but these I thought were really cool they're kind of, there's a couple of numbers 
and this one's a number two, but it's got like some, I think it's got some kind of a plastic in the back, so it's got kind of see-through. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Um, anyway, I thought this was really cool. I don't know what it says. But anyway, I thought that was kind of neat. Just all kinds of, this was really pretty. It's like a really old button. Anyway, just a whole bunch of different little doodads and things and like good mixed media jar of junk. So that was pretty cool. And then I found this um, little bottle of, here, let me turn this light on so you guys can see better. Um, yeah, I found this little bottle of Royal Blue pen ink. Um, it's Pennant Washable Royal Blue Sanford's Fountain Pen Ink. Um, I have every color except for Royal Blue, so this will go good for um, with my little antique pen set that I found. So I went ahead and picked that up to be a little bit, have a little fun. Sorry for the sound of the bag, you guys. And then I found these things. Um, there is a cute little letter. Uh, to Mary Ellen from Janet. It was so cute. And it has this just this cute little letter inside. It has this cute little puppy. It says Christmas on it. Looks like she drew her a little Christmas a little Christmas tree with a snowman and a house and I just thought that, that was just too freaking cute. Very cute. So I had to get that. And then there's some different um, vintage letters, like from 1960, 1966. Um, there's like a couple of family photos and stuff in here. Um, there's a couple of... I thought this little picture was kind of cute uh, with the little snowman blow up. Um, and then this little card I thought was pretty cute, so I went and picked that up. Um, thought, you know, cute stuff to add in. Um, here's somebody's... Uh, High school report cards um, from Campbell Union High School, Lawrence J. Hill, Superintendent, Campbell, California. But um, anyway, there's like some little, there's some uh, report cards in there, a couple of really old ones. Let's see, there's 1960, 59 to 60. So pick those up. Those will be good for little journaling cards. And there's some really cute little little cards here. This is a shower gift and it has these cute little birds on it. I thought it was pretty cute. This one it says congratulations but it has like this really cool embossed silver um, scene with the roses on it. I thought that was really cute and it has that and then there's a little bit more over here. You can see the texture of the paper. Um, I thought that one was really cute and then this one was super adorable. Look how that's like three-dimensional. There's like paper underneath there. So that is really cute. I love that. It says congratulations on your wedding. And then you got that paper underneath there. I thought this would make a cute little, um, a cute little uh, junk journal, like a mini junk journal for a wedding or something. Anyway, so those are those. Um, then I picked up these cute little cards. Let's see, there's a snap the picture. I thought that was pretty cute. Snap. Uh, then we got the little elephant, and then we got a little trapeze lady, and then there's snap your fingers. So I thought those were pretty cute. And then I found this really cute, um, super sparkly kind of um, case here. I only paid three dollars for this case, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I love the little scalloped edges on it. I just thought it was so adorable. I mean, how cute is that? It needs a little cleaning, but I love how it has the little scallops on it. And it's all glittery, and it's turquoise, which is my color. So I'm going to use this to hold um, some different scrapbook supplies and things. So I got that for $3.00. Couldn't believe they only wanted three dollars for that, but sold. And then this I picked up for five dollars. I thought this little tin was really cute, and they kind of decorate it really cute. And it says um, Twang and Twigs Trinket Society. 
Um, so it's kind of like a little handmade thing, um, but it's got all these really cute little trinkets and stuff in it for Christmas decorating and crafting. I thought these were super cute. This might be a cute idea for a swap, you guys, um, to get a tin, like a cookie Christmas cookie tin, and decorate it up and then fill it with little trinkets and stuff and send it to each other. That might be really fun, like some vintage, do it all like vintage Christmas theme or something. I don't know. If anybody out there is interested in something like that, let me know and I will I will make it happen. Uh, just comment below if you if you're interested in doing something like this, doing a um, a Christmas swap. Um, we'll 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 make it happen. Just comment below and I will set up a whole new video and we'll we'll figure it out. So I thought this little this little um, Santa was really cute. It's got this uh, really pretty little trim here. It's kind of vintagey looking. This stuff is really awesome. This is mainly what I bought it for because it's so cool. Um, it's just so, so sparkly. And there's some little tags in there. Um, so yeah, the, this is the kind of stuff that you can stretch it and, and just... And you just got this really cool, it goes a long way, and you just got this really cool, super sparkly trim on it. And we've got a couple of little, a couple more little things in there. Got this cute little vintage trivet that says Merry Christmas. Thought that was pretty cute. Um, this one right here is a really cute, uh, heavy um, Christmas ornament on it. And then there's a whole bunch of little... Um, there's some of these, some little, um, little sparkle things that you put on a, um, lamp or lantern or something, chandelier, and then, or crystals, that's what they are. Um, and then there's this really cool button, and then this super cute vintage rocking chair, so, um, if this is kind of up your eyes, see, and then I love how they took a piece of cardboard and covered it with burlap and put it in the bottom. Um, so that is just such a cute idea for a swap, I think. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in a vintage, uh, trinket box swap, Christmas swap, let me know in the comments below and we'll set it up. So that is really cute, super cute, and this the top just goes on and it has lots of little decoupage and cuteness, and it's got this cute little bow on it, it's just, oh, it's all cute, and this is like some vintage stuff here, just too cute. Anyway, so I got that for $5, and I think that's it, yeah, that's all I got at the Junk Ranch, I didn't get a whole lot, um, and I bought me a, um, and I bought me a, a lemonade for five dollars. <laughs> um, so after the junk ranch, I was a little disappointed. There wasn't very many. There really wasn't that many vendors out there. I mean, there was a lot of booths, but it just seemed like they were all selling the same thing, like the same, you know, twelve hundred dollar um, farmhouse table. You know, like <laughs> I wanted the junk, the good junk, and the good junk wasn't was a miss this year. So. On my way home, okay, there was one um, booth, and uh, hopefully, I don't know if I caught it on video or not, I hope I did, but there was one booth that had some really cool Halloween crafts and stuff, and she had taken this um, uh, ceramic owls, like some old ceramic owl vases, and, and spray painted them black, and painted... Um, the bones on the owls, so it looked like the owl, the bony owls, um, and so, um, I was like, oh, that would be so fun, so I went to some thrift stores on the way home looking for some ceramic owls that I could change, oh, wait, no, I do have one more thing, I did get this little poster, uh, I thought it was kind of interesting, it says, tell the negative committee that meets inside your head to sit down and shut up. <laughs> so I'm going to hang that in my studio. Um, but okay, so I, I went to the thrift store looking for uh, some um, ceramic owls. I did find one, but while I was at the thrift store, 
Eesh, this is going to be a long video, you guys. I'm so sorry. Hang in there with me. While I was at the thrift store, I picked up a few things. Uh, and I did find one owl. So I got this little owl, and I thought he would be perfect to spray paint black and then paint his little bones on into his wings and stuff. So I'm going to paint him. Halloween. Found this cute little star stamp. I thought these little stars were super cute. So I picked that up. I found this cute little Rolodex that will be good for altered, these altered cards. And I love how this just kind of really sprays wide. So you can do quite a few chunky, chunky monkeys on there and, um, have plenty of room to showcase them. So I just love how skinny and how it's not one of those cheesy plastic ones with the top, you know, anyway. So yeah, I picked that up and I love that the um, letters had were blue, even though it's missing the A. So I picked that up and then I found this, which is a um, Hallmark photo CD storage box, but I love um, the stationery and the windowed, um, these little envelopes have little whole window holes in the front. So I thought those are really cool. And I love that they have this kind of script look to them. So I'm going to be reusing those and then I can use the box for storage because it's a nice heavy box. So I picked that stuff up. And then, because I really wanted to find one of those owl vases like she had, I went to a few more thrift stores. And I didn't end up finding any more of those owl vases, but I did, apparently, um, there's a thrift store here called the Potter's House Thrift Store. And they are apparently getting in five huge boxes of Halloween stuff every day. And they're putting it out. And this is all, you know, used stuff because it's a thrift store. So I got this whole bag of stuff for $2.91. So... Let me just cut this open here and show you what's inside. The main reason I picked this bag up was for one thing, although all of this stuff I can put to good use, but there was one thing in here that I just thought was so cute and I had to have it, and that was this. This is Janelle... Berryman's Pumpkin Seeds Folk Art Decorative Lapel Pin. Look how freaking cute this is, you guys. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Love the little beaded legs and arms with the bells at the bottom. And it's just this little lapel pin. It's in Nesco. Not sure. 2008 in Nesco. But oh gosh, look how cute he is. Oh my gosh, I had to have him. So he was definitely worth $2.91 in my book. And then I still got all this other stuff. So I got this cute little um, little sign, little witchy sign here. Sign, sign, everywhere, sign. Here's another little sign. This is Happy Halloween. Got some more leaves. Here's some little um, pumpkin decorating legs here. There's a bunch of those, actually. I could do a few. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, cute little lanterns and these oh, just cute stuff, you know? Look at these cute little things. Ah, oh, all right. Um, here's some cute little Thanksgiving things. Let's see, what are these? <gasps> Look how cute little kitty cat earrings oh my goodness you guys look how cute those are those will be cute for like little charms for halloween charms look how cute oh i didn't even see that oh there's another one. Oh my gosh he's so cute look how cute he is oh my gosh that is the most adorable. I love that he's got these little striped legs. Oh, he's cool. I didn't know there was two of them in there, so that was definitely a score. Let's see here. What is this? What is it? I have no idea. It's some kind of a little toy. I'm not sure. Some kind of a little magnet toy. Maybe he, uh... 
Maybe he's like a little bobblehead kind of a thing. Look at this cute little witch reflector keychain. Let's see, what else is in here? Oh, that's the head for the pumpkin. Oh, it's a spider. That's why there's so many legs. Um, so he's a little spider to fix your pumpkin. Here's a little ghost reflector. And there's another one of those little... Oh, okay, that's what it is. It's one of those that like, gets in the light and then it moves all by itself. Look at it go. It's already going. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Let's see what else is in here. Here's a cool pumpkin um, cookie cutter. I saw this in here too. I thought this was pretty cute. Here's a cute little, um, cute little soldered necklace with a little witch and a pumpkin. Thought that was pretty cute. There's a bunch of these little clear things. This is all out of one bag, you guys. There's the bottom of that one dude's um, thing. But yeah, this is all from one bag. Look at the cute little ghost. Ty Beanie Baby Ghost. And then there's another one of those. And then there's another cookie cutter. Uh, uh, skull, I bet. Yeah. So that was all from that one bag that was $2.91. So. And that's not all. Oh no, that is not all. I'm going to get this out of the way and I will show you. I'm going to leave these out because those are just the cutest thing ever. Uh, Okay, now, the next thing I found, some awesome ribbon with a uh, cemetery silhouette scene on it. That was 91 cents. I've got these super cute little fall felties stickers. Those are 91 cents. I got this which is a two-pack, I'm not sure what these are, uh, nursery rhyme bookmarks. Uh, I'll probably just donate those back, but I, this is a huge bag of Halloween Spangles, and I paid 91 cents for both of them, but this bag is, that's a huge bag of Spangles, so yes. Spangles have become so popular that the price on them has just skyrocketed. All right, so, and then this two-pack, I thought these were super cute. It's got some really cute, um, sparkly Halloween stickers, and there's some cute kind of pastel -y looking ones in there, so those will be cool. And then this is the K & Company die-cut cardstock, and it has all of those in it. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I got both of those for 91 cents. Here's a little thing with some little ghost um, cupcake picks. I thought those would be cute in a layout or for some swaps or something. There's some little ghost printed um, cupcake liners, 91 cents. And then these I thought were cute. If I can get them untangled now. Maybe. They just all kind of got put in the same... So this, little cutie, cutie, cutie. I don't know if I'll leave him that way or if I will take those little um, jingle bells off. I thought they were really cute. Then we've got this little cutie, cutie. So a little ghost with some purple. And then there's some these great big, huge bells on the bottom. Those were really cute. I don't know if those actually go to that. No, actually, I don't think they are. Those are by themselves. So that and that and then this one here which is a little bat and this one I got all of those for 91 cents how cute is he isn't he cute um and then I got a movie but we don't need to know about that that's just a sci-fi movie so I'm gonna put these in here but yeah, that stuff is awesome. I'll leave that out. Okay, so then while I was there, they said, Hey, did you know that we have another store now in your town in Springdale? And I was like, no, I didn't know that. And she's like, yeah, and they'll be getting five boxes a day too. And I'm like, great, now I have to go spend more money. <laughs> but I'm glad she told me because, oh my gosh, check this out. These are all the same, but 
you can never go wrong. These are from 2013, so you can't get them anymore. So it's kind of nice to have. Um, I just thought this guy right here was pretty cool with his little um, kind of journaling card. And there's just some really cool designs on here. Double, double, toil and trouble. And then these are the papers that come with it. Um, just some, oh, just so cool. 91 cents a package. I went ahead and got four because, yeah, they're they're discontinued and you can't buy them anymore. So, next I picked up this um, beaded newsprint banner. It says, um, all the printing on it says Halloween, All Hallows Eve, and all this different stuff. So, the beads are up here. They're kind of like those... Um, tiny little glass beads that you use as glitter and so I just thought that was a really cool um, that was a really cool little banner that can be altered and um, I'll probably do some different stuff to the front of that so I thought that was pretty cool uh, that'll be good to make a decoration for Halloween and then these little spiders I guess these are from Walmart but those are really cool. I couldn't find any at my Walmart, so that was awesome. And then I got some Harry Potter books because um, I don't have hardcovers of these, so I got one and two, and two has its um, dust jacket on it still, so that's pretty cool. Uh, all the other ones I have are only uh, soft cover, except for I've been starting to pick up the hardcover ones. Um, so this, I thought, was super cool. Um, this is the Sappy Guide to Designing for Print Tips, Techniques, and Methods for Achieving Optimum Printing Results. This is a scoring and folding book, and it gives you 50 folding examples. So it shows you how to fold different pieces of paper. And it's got these cool um, little guides and stuff in it. They kind of show you how to score and where to score. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so it shows you how to do these different flip outs. And uh, yeah, so it has all these cool little examples of different ways you can layer things up and print them. And um, this I thought was kind of cool. Basic, gate, roll, parallel, exotic. That was pretty awesome. They show you how to how to fold that up. How cool is that? How neat. Anyway, so there's just a ton of different things. This is called the accordion fold. Um, anyway, so there's a whole lot of different ideas that I thought would be good to um apply to junk journaling or making journals or cards or whatever so that'll be a fun read an interesting interesting book i think and then i found this cute little guy it says happy halloween 91 cents it's all wood that was super cute and this can of chalkboard spray I was going to have to go buy some matte chalk uh, black spray for this, and then I found this, so now I don't have to go buy that somewhere else. So, um, yeah, so the mother load of Halloween crafting things, as well as, I'm thinking that I bought another bag of stuff, but... I think I didn't. I think that's it. <laughs> you would hope that was it. Um, all right. So anyway, I'm going to just cut this off because this video has been, I don't know, it's probably going to be an hour and a half long by the time I get done showing you the clips and stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. This has been a mother load Halloween haul and lots of cool stuff at the Junk Ranch. So I'll see you next time. Bye.